Hey folks, this video comes with a warning for a sexual assault. There's no actual rape, but there is some um, unwelcome PDA. If you don't feel like dealing with that right now, then um, close the video. If you're up for it, then enjoy. At last, Conway reached his home. Suddenly, he felt uneasy. He raised his ears and looked ahead. There was nothing odd about the place. But still, he remained in place for a while and thought. Maybe he was becoming oversensitive. There was nothing strange. It was just his home, same as always. Conway walked towards the entrance. He held the door open with his hand and looked at his surroundings, just to be sure. There was nothing, no sounds, no traces of activity. Conway exhaled a bit. Nothing to worry about. His tension fading, Conway dropped his gaze to his feet and froze. Oh, what the shit? A snake. No, it was a trail left by a snake. His whole body shuddered, his pupils widened, and Conway erased the trail left with his foot. For a moment, his vision was dyed green, as if the memory of the dream came back to him. His throat closed up and Conway felt as if he was choking, so he put a hand to his neck. That dream, was it reality? Uh... He viciously trampled the snake's trail with all his might, again and again until there was no trace of it left. All he saw were some marks that looked like a snake's trail. It wasn't related to the dream, just a real snake passing by, as they usually did. There was no meaning to it. Stop, 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 stop. Conway pulled himself together. He slowly closed his eyes and took in a deep breath. Since yesterday, things had begun to feel strange. I'm just tired, that's all, he muttered to himself. He opened his eyes again and looked at his feet. The ground was a mess and the trail had disappeared. Conway decided to just head inside and go right to bed. Conway set traps at the window and doorway just in case. He tossed his bag aside and groomed to calm himself down. And he's licking his paws. After that, Conway curled up and went to sleep. More dream time? Oh, yeah. The nightmare came again that evening. Uh, nightmare? Oh, here we go. Conway was in that mysterious place again. Just the same as last night. Conway drifted softly, and a faint light bloomed in front of his eyes. Thump, thump, he could hear a pulse. Just like last night, a light overwhelmed him, but this time it was not green. A yellow light covered Conway, blocking his view. It was so brilliant and bright, he couldn't see a thing. Conway contorted his face as he tried to open his eyes and draw a breath. A cold touch coiled around his ankle. At once, his blood curdled. So, I guess they're like all snakes then? Okay. A serpent. Just like yesterday's dream, the snake coiled around his throat. Or maybe it's like all the same thing. Maybe they're not individuals. Maybe that's... I don't know. Just gonna have to wing it with the whole voice thing for now, I guess. Do you feel it? A voice echoed in his head. 
Out of the corners of his eyes, Conway saw the head of a yellow snake. Okay, so they're they're different snakes. Okay, so got it. He raised his hands and tried to claw the snake off his neck. But to Conway's surprise, the snake did not tighten its grip when he struggled. Its tongue flickered out, fluttering over Conway's cheek and neck. It gave him chills. It was such an odd feeling. The snake's tail deviously came up and raised the hem of his shirt. Oh, rapey snake, great. Its skin felt slimy, and as soon as it touched him, Conway trembled. Uh, uh, uh? Each time its smooth body shifted over his skin, he felt a sensation that was difficult to describe. Unintentionally, Conway's ears turned down, and he held his breath. The snake traced his body with its sharp tail as if it knew him. Uh, stop it! <laughs> Do you feel it? Overflowing from my scales, my tongue, my eyes, my heartbeat, my very existence. Do you feel it? The snake whispered. It kept inquiring. Answer! What am I to you? What do you feel? Ah, oh, what the shit? Uh, 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 uh. Conway's body reacted to this. Conway's body reacted to the stimulation violently, as if it were no longer his own. The snake's tail began to rub his groin through his clothes. Conway grit his teeth and twisted to escape the caressing of the snake. Still, the snake demanded. Answer! <laughs> the snake's molestation or an image of pleasure rushes through. Um, so, like, I'm into this, I'm not into this, I, I take it. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're not, we're not in this. I, I, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Please stop. Conway could not escape this if he did not answer. He knew this through instinct and tried to think in earnest. Conway did not speak any words, but the snake stopped its movement. He wondered if it had read his thoughts like the green snake. The caresses stopped. But the slime still glistened on his skin. I wonder, like, I thought you would, like, date cat boys in this game, but maybe, like, there's a snake romance option? Like, are there snake boys, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. The yellow snake began to move deliberately, its wet belly undulating. Are you suffering? No. You're left in want, aren't you? Your lust is unbearable. The snake opened its mouth wide and laughed, tormenting Konaway. Heat flared up in the depths of Konaway's stomach. It was a sensation that he had not felt before, completely unknown. He couldn't help but want to escape, even if this was just a dream. The snake scales shone and glittered with slime. Conway wanted to throw off the snake, but his body couldn't move. His body ached with desire, but all he could do was double over. The snake's sharp eyes approached his side. It was impossible to turn his face away from it. It laughed at Conway and its tongue flickered in and out, teasing the nape of his neck. Touch. Conway jolted awake. Huh. <sighs> he stared at the ceiling, hearing his own rough breathing. He'd had the same dream again. This time it was of a yellow snake. Conway sat up slowly and put a hand on his forehead. His whole body was drenched in sweat. He felt something odd on his arm and touched it. A chill ran down his spine. There was something slimy on his skin. It was real! 
Conway scanned his surroundings with his eyes. Nothing in the traps he'd set up at the windows or at the doors. The only place is anything that could get in or out. Nor was there anything on the floor by his bed. Was it a dream? Or... He thought about the meandering trail on the ground in front of his home. Had the snake entered at that time? But the snake from tonight was a different color than the one yesterday. Did that mean that the two of them had come into his house? Maybe there was a small hidden crevice somewhere through which they passed. He needed to settle down for a bit. Dude, these snakes must be huge. Like, it would be bigger than just a small crevice, I'd think. Not that that's what's going on here. Probably. It's, it's magic. It's magic, Conway. You're a magical cat boy. Certainly. It was true the snake in his dream came out. It was a shockingly vivid dream. That was all he could say. Conway sighed sharply and lashed the ground with his tail. Dust danced in the moonlight that illuminated the room. Tomorrow, he would search. He couldn't be certain there wasn't a secret entrance into his home. After grooming himself for a bit, Conway wrapped himself up in his sheets. A cloud covered the moon of shadow, which hung above the window. He felt the bad foreboding that made him uneasy. The following day, he would face the reality of his recent dreams.